Hi there, welcome to the Affiliate Truce video on how to upload files to the internet. Uh, I knew this one would be coming around because many people ask how do I get my files onto the internet. It's very, very easy. Uh, we're going to talk you through it using a program called FileZilla. Now we like FileZilla because the price the FileZilla comes at is my favorite price which is free and we love everything that's free. So I, I put a link on the affiliatetruth.com, uh, so you'll be able to go there and download it. But the, it's uh, it's based at sourceforge.net slash projects slash filezilla, and filezilla is spelled filezilla. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so there we go. There's the uh, download page. So you download it here, and you install it. And once you've installed it, it looks a little something like this. Um, very straightforward and easy to use. It's, again, not difficult, but there's some things on here that might throw you. Okay, first of all, you've got the host. Uh, here it says, enter the address of your server. And then it starts talking about protocols and things like that, which is where people normally panic. Don't panic. Um, I have prepared, here's one I prepared earlier, uh, where you, or what details you actually put in. Now if you're using the host gate to hosting, um, you need to type in FTP and then your domain name .com and then the username and password that was emailed to you. Um, port number is port number 21. It's very straightforward, it's port number 21. Don't question it because that's the port that it uses and you don't need to know more than that. So for HostGator you type in FTP, your domain name, .com, your username, your password, the port number and then click on Quick Connect. If you're using Plesk which the wealthy affiliates uh, are giving away, um, they're giving away their free hosting, um, then you need to do it slightly differently. You need to put www.yourdomainname.com uh, and again your username, your password and port 21. Uh, and then you click on quick connect again. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on uh, quick connect and it saved my domain name. So I'm just going to click on there. Here you can see it's going through, it gives you all the details of what it's actually doing. Um, and it's connected me to my remote server. So here we go. Uh, I've got here um, a Weebly demo, which I'm I'm doing a, a quick uh, how to create an AdSense site in Weebly, uh, which should be ready later on, uh, possibly early next week. So on the right hand side here, you can see that we have. Uh, numerous folders available to us. The one that you want if you're using Plesk is HTTP Docs and that's the, that's the one that we're connected to at the moment. We're using the Wealthy Affiliates uh, hosting at the moment so we're, it's HTTP Docs. So double click on there and you will see I've got some files in here already so I've got my little test folder here and you can see I've got a couple of files in there. I've got an index file here and this is where it gets really really complicated. Push down the left mouse button, drag it across and drop it. It's going to tell me that that file already exists. There we go, that file already exists. Do I want to replace it? Uh, here you've got options. Please select an action, overwrite, overwrite if newer, Resume, rename, or skip. I want to overwrite it. Done. That's it. You can see there down the bottom there that that has now uploaded that file, and this file is the one that we that we uploaded. So that is it. That is how we upload a file, and I mean that's it. that's just using the Plesk. Um, if you are using HostGator, the only difference in HostGator is rather than putting the file in HTTP docs, 
you place it in public underscore HTML and that is the that is the difference I mean yeah you connect with FTP dot your domain name dot com and then you select the public HTML folder that's it that is all there is to it if you're using the feeder sites within uh, wealthy affiliates then you you've seen how to create the HTML file so you just copy it from one place to another it's pretty much like copying a file on your local computer from one folder to another it's just that it is uh, copying something up onto the internet and that's it um, if you want any more information come over to the affiliate truth.com or jump into one of the forums where you probably got this information from and uh, feel free to ask uh, hope you found this informative